Hello, and welcome to Cindy's Corner. Today, boys and girls, if you've got the book, How to Babysit a Grandma, go get it so that you can read it and follow along. And boys and girls, I know you do special things with your grandma. So at the end, I want you to tell me about it in my comments and make sure you give it a thumbs up. So let's read How to Babysit a grandma. Having fun, look at that. How to babysit a grandma. Or it's written by Jean Reagan. Now if they wrote it, what are they called? The author, good job. And the person that draws the pictures is called Illustrator. Great job. And the illustrator is Lee Waldish. When you babysit a grandma, if you're lucky, it's a sleepover at her house. What should we, you do when you get to her door? Put on a disguise and say, guess who? Knock with a secret knock. Only she knows. Tap, tap. Tappity tap. If you like cats, Meow. If you like dogs, bark. If you like goldfish, hmm. When she opens the door, shout, Grandma, your babysitter is here. Hug your mom and dad goodbye and say, don't be sad. I'll be home soon. How to keep grandma busy. Go to the park. Bake sneaker doodles. Have a costume parade. Go to the park and feed the ducks. Do yoga. Look at family pictures. Go to the park and swing. Play hide and seek. Make goofy hats. Go to the park to slide. Have a dancing puppet show. Read stacks of books. Go to the park to take photos. Do puzzles, play cards. As the babysitter, you need to let her choose. Of course, she'll want to go to the park. What to do at the park. Slide down the bumpy slide and the twirly slide. If she's feeling brave, try the tallest slide of all. Push your grandma on the swing, but do but not too high. Remind her, pump her legs. Feed the ducks. Show her how to help the shy ones get some food. Don't forget, good babysitters always say five more minutes before it's time to go. Back at home, plan some more fun. How to play with a grandma. 
grab two microphones and sing a duet. You might want to try, you are my sunshine or happy birthday or make up a new song together. Line up all her shoes to play shoe shop. If your grandma likes fancy things, decorate her with ribbons, bows, and stickers. Shout, ta-da! When you hand her the mirror. Soon, it's time for dinner. Your grandma may be a may be a yummy cook, but share your tricks to make everything taste even yummier. Add some sprinkles to everything. Well, almost everything. Arrange the food to make silly faces. Shut your eyes as you take each bite and say, mmm, 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 mmm. When it starts to get dark, take your grandma outside to find the first star. Back inside, snuggle up and read some books. Turn the pages slowly so she can find everything in the pictures. Ask your grandma for stories about when your mom was little. What was mom's favorite thing to do at the park? Did she ever get in trouble? Was her grandma as fun as you? Teach her how to say, I love you without making a sound. Point to your eye. I love you. You can do that. I love you you. Now, let your grandma choose where she wants to sleep, places to sleep, in a tent, on the floor, on the couch, in a little bed, in a big bed. If she asks, should we leave the night light on? The whole light is on. The door open. Answer, yep, yep, yep. Once you're both tucked in, make shadow puppets. In the dark with your finger. Have your shadow Foxes, kiss good night. They touch your fingers and they kiss good night. If she misses your mom and dad, tell her they'll be home tomorrow, bright and early. In the morning, when you hear a knock, open the door. Dressed up as twins. After you're all packed up comes the hardest part. Goodbye time. How to say goodbye to grandma. Let her borrow some sprinkles, some books, some stickers, some ribbons, Say, I love you 
without making a sound. Give her a big hug and ask, when can I babysit you again? Maybe you can babysit your grandma. If you like this book, tell me something that you do special with your grandma. And don't forget, give it a thumbs up. And in your comments, tell me what you do. Make sure you've subscribed because you don't want to miss the next book on Cindy's Corner.